Mission 8, the San Loma Assault under a sky of fire. Which probably means we've got incoming missiles while doing another mission. I'm sure that'll be fun. Then I'll give you the lowdown on our mission. Small unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles, and heavy command cruisers are all closely related in terms of functionality and have been uncovered as the enemy's secret weapons by our analysis results. We have collected missile and small unmanned aerial vehicle samples, as well as radar records, analyzed them, and came up with the following. First of all, the small unmanned aerial vehicles are operated from long distance and approach their intended targets to destroy them. In step two, a special electronic signal inside of each small unmanned aerial vehicle is sent to a cruise missile for guidance. Makes sense. The final step, the cruise missile that was guided by a small unmanned aerial vehicle hits and destroys its attack target. That is how the enemy's cruise missile system operates. Small I see, I see. Small unmanned aerial vehicles and cruise missiles are both launched from the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Ah, uh, yes. They are operated from the heavy command the big cruiser. remote control. Our Joint Chiefs of Staff have drawn up a plan to destroy the enemy's missile system based on these analysis results. In order to conquer the heavy command cruiser, a constant barrage of attacks from the air is absolutely indispensable. First, we need to get a springboard to launch our plan of attack. We're about okay. to head south to retake Cavalia Air Force Base in San Loma. Ah, yes. Our objective is to retake Cavalia's air facilities, then Anti establish ground? a front line to destroy the enemy's missiles. Multi-operation. Once the runway is secured, we Anti -ground. should have a decent chance of taking out the enemy's heavy Navy, huh? land cruiser. Enemy forces will be heavily deployed from land, air, and sea. We'll be doing all we can to deal with them, but I'm sure they'll be ready for us. Success or failure some aircraft there, but not very much. Likely have a significant effect on the war. Put everything you've got into this one. Okay, dope. Right. The hangar. Probably want a multi roll or an attacker, maybe. Horn is multi roll. Tornado's classified as an attacker. Hmm, I've been wanting to use my tornado. I've already bought all these weapons, right? Yeah, I have. I have to buy all their stuff. Ooh, yeah. They have two as a multi roll as well. Yeah. Known as the Viper Zero, the F 2A is a variant of the F 16. It's equipped for the latest avionics equipment, including phased array radar. Although specifically designed for anti-ship operations, this powerful aircraft is also deployed in air superiority and intercept missions. The F-2A is known for its responsiveness and stability, so much so that engine stall-related accidents are extremely rare. Its high-performance armaments include that of high-maneuver and long-range missiles, while successfully fulfilling its initial conceived role of air-to-ground and air-to-ship intercept. The F-2A is also a formidable air-to-air multi-role aircraft. And is belongs to the Japanese Air Defense Force. IRL. Hmm. Ooh, actually, I can have qualms. Quick. Maneuver air to air missiles. I'm gonna buy them all eventually. So we've got the semi actives. Air to ground. 32 of those. That's pretty good. Uh, can't measure pod. We don't actually need that really. Ooh, the saw dispenser. Yeah, that's like the one that the tornado has. Similar. Tornado. Yeah, tornado. Here we go. My brain. It is frazzled. Eh, sure, why not? Buy everything. Because anti ship missiles, 28 of those. Equipment over air to air. Multi lock ground missiles. Eh, 
ungated bombs or when you just want to blow shit up. Yes, buy all things. I mean, I'm getting S ranks in most missions. Only like the second and third mission, I think I got an A rank. Because I'm still remembering how to play. All right. What shall we take, though? An F2. An F18. Tornado. F18 is a very good all-rounder. It's one of my favorites as well. The weapons I got again. It's the same anti air to air. The cluster bombs on the ground. Combined effect bombs to have extended air of damage. Of those or like 32 of those you fire four at a time so how many volleys is that math is hard uh, five and then three so eight volleys total XMA, not the grand ones. Hmm. F18, and I'm thinking we'll go for the. The sod? Talisman. Which plane should I pick? Get the sod a try. How about my F18, and you shall bring. Are we ready to fly with these air to air. Garuda team, yes. time to take off. Let's go, Garuda. We can start there, or we can start here. Start here, because they're a good straight line. See San Loma, along with its military base, and use that as a base of operations for attacking the enemy's heavy command cruiser. What's the range on these? I don't remember. Excel at stunts. One. That's guns. Uh oh. How dare they? You're fired. Ah. Can we 
radar. How dare they? Enemy facility was destroyed. Nice work. Hi, G turn. Ba boom. I have it. Coming for you, F fourteen. Oh, you dodged it. How dare. Got him. Big bada boom. Whoa, no. Ah, okay, from head on. Can't really hit something coming at my face. I always deliver. Take him down. The white fang. All right, F fourteen. I'm coming for you. All right, Shamrock got him. Never mind. You son of a bitch. Elcac? What's an Elcac? Yeah, I'm not sure I like these sods. Special weapons running low. We have radar lock on. Garuda one out of special weapons. Make the swing back, get some more ammo, and repair. Is as fun as that weapon is? They're not clustered enough. Hey, shot kid! I do love the F-18's design. This is peak aircraft, I think. We're gonna get some more water soon. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna just like stream the normal length of time or if I'm gonna like take a maybe take a wee break at some point and then just keep going and complete the game. Cause it's not that long, but it's long enough that it'd be a longer stream than normal. Oh, yeah, I'm being mission six or seven. Keep up at 200 kph. Ooh, that was almost too slow. I didn't need the rest or hook at all. <laughs> I just. I feel like in reality, if the ship's moving, that would have been suicide. Weapon. I'm going to bring multi target air to ground. I mean, you're launching from a carrier, you can't not think danger zone. Hey, 
and Shamrock. Take care of him. Go Shamrock. In the face. Oh, no, weird angle. Enemy plane in gun range. That he is. Oh. However, he's dodging my moves. I noticed. Of course, the uh, F-18 has twin guns in the nose. Which makes a really, really good... You know, for machine gunning people. Lock on. I mean, I'm really close to gun range, so... Oh no! Your canopy! What happens if I shoot you directly? Hmm? Alright, back to the battle. Shamrock, take it at F-14. Now concentrate on the ground targets. Give me multi-lock. Three, four, there we go. Bye bye. Okay, Marigold. Have the fleet. Sounds like they're in trouble. <laughs> it's getting this far, eh? Hey, Big Knight. There's Avalanche. Camera, look at that. Need to help the Navy. We're trying. I got it. Got him. Air Forces, take care of that. I'll deal with the fleet. Kill all invaders. That's my line. Watch out, the enemy has a lock Since you're technically invaders. Enemy destroyers suck. 
Can he just... All in the day's work. Now get that drone. Oh, never mind. The target number of enemy planes are destroyed. Shift forces to the San Loma takeover operation. Everyone, rock and roll. Avoid that bridge. Hey, that wonder if that's the bridge we're talking about in the cutscene before. It looks somewhere. God damn it, McKnight. Right, I'll get some more missiles. McKnight and his boys are reckless. I approve. Hey, Warlock and Wind Hover. And over there. Oh, Shamrock's there. Well, for escort. Nice guy, kid. Let's go get some more bombs. Actually, maybe even get bombs. See, if I was on normal, not hard, I would have more ammo. Pretty sure. Why I remember? Yeah, fine. Arrest her hooks. Ooh, no. I may have missed the hook slightly. <laughs> Still landed, though. Just. Alright, what do I want? Uh, oh, so I'll try K measures. Let's do empty. Let's send me some air to air. Dispenser. No. Keep the multi target. <clears throat> Back into the fight. We have more missiles. All right, time to rock and roll. Here we go. 32 anti grin missiles, giving us five volleys, right? No, eight volleys. Math in my head working. Okay, that powered three rather than a full volley. the ships in the harbor. Hmm? Careful now, they're 
Bring the pain. Kick ass. Tally ho. Took off some ships to deal with. Boom, boom. Shamrock, take that out. If you can. Aluminium plant. Or, I suppose it's spelled incorrectly, an aluminum plant. They're actually spelled differently, that's the thing. It's not even pronunciations, it's just slightly spelled different. Only North America calls it aluminum. The rest of the world calls it aluminium. We'll figure out what country invented or discovered it and then they get to call it. Whatever it is. Is that destroyer still in the harbor? I may hit the crane. Yep, hit the crane. Well, I can't turn that fast. I'm aware. Put anti-aircraft guns on top of a building? Sam I'm sure that's against the Geneva Convention, but since Geneva does not exist in this country, this timeline, I guess it's legal. Everyone, save me. IG... Sky Kid, save me. Enemy drone. Talisman, you're the key player on this mission. Don't get shot down. Roger that. You can count on me. Ta uh, Shamrock, I think you're breaking the fourth wall there, saying I'm the key player. Sky Kid, take him out. Miss maneuvers. Any ground units left? Oh, there's one. There's one little tank. Go oh, Blizzard. All targets are almost destroyed. Garuda one. Take care of what's left. Talisman, it's time to Roger Dodger. AF eighteen. I'm king of the sky, not you. Guys, high altitude. Enemy killed. Oh, we got him. Ooh, no, right, fourteen. Come on. Ooh, you dodged that one. Launching missile. We will you dodge this? So. Missile missed its target. What about these ones? Oh, he's good. He's good. Is he good enough to survive this? He is not. Hey, Mr. Drive, what the hell did that? It's called an F-18. Gentlemen, plow the road. So the final battle on Independence Day with F-18s? Oh, love it. There's 
still a couple of drones around. Those drones are so fast. Wait, there's only one or two tar actual targets left, though. Yeah, 14 a low altitude. Let's go and get them. Or someone else can shoot them before I even pull the trigger. Oh, no, we gotta wait. Everyone, fire on that. They got it. Let's get everyone to fire every missile they have. I'm sure they'll get them eventually. Whoa, I've got you now. Alright, F-14, you may have this straight line speed, but Enemy plane down. I have the weapons. All targets are confirmed destroyed. We have taken over the city of San Loma. Hell yeah. Let's go out for a few when we get back. Drinks are on me tonight. Oh hell yeah. We just took control of our airport from the Estovakians. The battle for Ameria has just begun. Now that we've accomplished We're gonna get our mission, home back. We have a good chance of taking out the heavy command cruiser. Excellent ah, so job. next up is taking out the heavy command cruiser, huh? Excellent. Remember how many missions are actually in this game? Mission accomplished. We have managed to retake Cavalia no, Air Force Base and free San Loma in the process. Cavalia will be our chief base of operation for conquering the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Ultimately, the enemy's cruise missile system cannot be stopped unless their heavy command cruiser is destroyed first. Every minute counts for us here. Wait for your next order concerning this operation. How many missions are there? I'm trying to find out. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fifteen missions. And we just completed mission eight. So that means there's seven to go. So pretty much the midway point then. All the edge ranks. Mwah. Love it. died directly under an aerial battle. Oh no. The engine managed to get us this far. But it's been destroyed by machine gun fire. You're lucky to be alive. This pilot is from Ludmilla's homeland. She asks the crashed pilot about a name, asking if he has any information. But the pilot takes a turn for the worse. Rip. Just before all this, I wonder if I killed him. He seemed to be mumbling me. Garuda. Oh, yep, it was me. I killed him. Me down. Yo. <laughs> Sorry about that. But you were in my way. I know exactly what she's going through. Why she's overcome with such emotion. My husband could have very well ended up like this. And now I know. The one she loves is a pilot as well. I see. Dance with the angels. As we save a man's life on this wide open plane, we both begin to realize what we share, how much we have in common. That's what makes the story so compelling, I think, isn't it? Like, 
I'm out there fighting a battle, but down the ground, there's two women from both sides of the conflict who, well, one on my side whose husband was killed in the first battle, and now she's met someone else whose boyfriend I might shoot down later. It's kind of like uh, Ace Combat 4 was kind of similar in that way, where the entire story was kind of told from the perspective of, of a boy at the anime airbase. And then Ace Combat 5 was told from the point of view of a reporter at your, at your airbase. And then Zero was told from your co pilot's point of view. He was like telling the story uh, like to someone afterwards. What was Seven's point of view? Oh, the mechanic on the airbase. I think. Issue 33. Blanker! We now have the same plane as our enemy airships. 